I am encouraged. I am inspired. I am hopeful. I'm witnessing the true character of the American people every single day from all walks of life and all different social, religious, and personal backgrounds. There is no shortage of kindness of the American people. They are strong, they are brave, they are generous. America is defined by her people and their willingness to come together and lift each other up and help each other out. The American people have become my support crew. I'm reminded of the Latin phrase on many U.S. coins and currency, e pluribus unum, out of many we are one. May we all come together in support of the 30 million Americans and help push rare diseases forward in this new century. It started out exciting for me, but when I see the 51 to zero vote in the committee, now I'm actually astounded and I'm so pleased. Um, it's really the time to pass this. We won't get this kind of historic listening um, again. This has been wanted for decades. Now it's here, so I think the time to pass this is now. We're now the largest uh, funder of, of research in this disorder in the world because uh, it's a very rare disease. Only about 5,000 American patients, maybe 15,000 worldwide. Not much in the way of resources being devoted from anyone else. So we're here in this institution of the U.S. Congress because these people want to do the right thing for their constituents. And with 30 million Americans suffering rare diseases, we know that every member of the Senate and House has rare disease patients in there among their constituents. We're here to help them know what the right thing is to do. And one of the right things to do is obviously to give the National Institutes of Health and the Food and Drug Administration the authorities and the resources they need to provide uh, adva advancing research in, into these rare diseases and get more treatments and eventually even cures for rare diseases.
from a personal standpoint, that's the only way I can speak about this, from a personal standpoint, that I see what happens with, the, with this rare disease, and I know it happens with other rare diseases, and they don't get the attention because they're rare diseases, and so somebody's got to advocate for them, and I figure I can do that. From, a, from the standpoint of a parent or grandparent, the reason I'm so passionate about this, when you lose someone very close to you, it really takes, it's, it's a hole that never gets filled up, okay? And so all these families that are going through this are dealing with that, and that's why I wanted to give my time to help try to find a way to cure this disease.